Welcome back to Flippin' Out on Sunny Days with Dawn. This is part one of my Cowboy Up TV Armoire Makeover. All right, I'm ready to get started on my piece. The color I'm gonna do it in is this Rust-Oleum, um, it's called Midnight Blue. And my inspiration for what I wanna do to this is denim. I want it to look like a pair of blue jeans, you know, kind of country or uh, more Western, more Western looking, not country. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a difference. I think there is. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I'm gonna use and I'm using spray paint only because this is what I ha already have in this color um, or else I would use the um, brush on. But I have two cans of this. So this is what I'm gonna start with. What I do have to do is um, clean the piece up. It's very dusty. And I wanna tape off the top and the bottom because I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this more natural looking. I may stain it, um, but I wanna leave it wood looking and put um, like a polyurethane um, finish on top of it. That's my thought so far. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna stay that way. So let's get to it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I have a maze back here to walk through. Okay, I got it all cleaned up and I'm ready to take the hardware off. And so I want to give you a tip. You probably already know this, but when you're taking your hardware off, put it in a plastic bag and mark on it what it is. Like when I take these um, hinges off, I will tag it as um, right upper. And then when I take the bottoms off, I'll tag it as right lower, left lower, etc. And the same with the handles because the last time, um, and then put them all in a paper bag <laughs> to keep them in, or whatever kind of bag, just to keep it um, someplace safe. Because when I did my dresser and I took all the drawers out, I thought, oh, you know, I'll be able to tell how the drawers go back in um, because they're, you know, the same size. Some of them were the same size. Well, the ones that were the same size were the ones that it mattered um, what slot they went in. So I could have labeled the drawers, like, um, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever. And then uh, the screws that I took off uh, to take the hardware off, I put them, I did put them in a bag, but I just left the bag laying around and um, I was cleaning up and I wasn't ready to use the screws yet. And I was like, hmm, what is this bag of screws for? <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember what it's for. So I set it aside somewhere. Um, and then when it came time to put the hardware on, I was like, oh, I know what those screws were for. And then I had to figure out where I put them. So if you have a mind like mine that forgets um, very easily, like I could forget um, what, I, what I went in the house for was to get the plastic bags. I forgot and I came back out and I was like, why did I go in there for? Anyways, nonetheless, if you're like, the, if you're like I am, um, label things because actually they're not gonna fit like this one might not fit as well if I tried it on the bottom. So um, just a suggestion. Anyways, I'm ready to take the hardware off. So I got my uh, drill. <laughs> Last time I went to use it, it was uh, dead. So I had to plug it in. So I'm gonna label my bag first. I'm thinking that when I do the bottom, my door is going to fall off. So I wonder if I should, maybe I'll leave one, one in hand tight so they don't, um, so it doesn't fall down on me. picking up what I'm throwing down because <laughs> once I get that one down the door's just gonna fall off and um, I won't have two hands to catch it so I put one back in just finger tight I don't have my glasses on so it's a little hard to see the hole Uh, this reminds me of my grandson. It must have been a bag that I made him um, 
a lunch or something and it has his name on it. You wanted to go already. <laughs> so that's my tip. <laughs> Another tip. All right. <laughs> One door off. <laughs> I'll continue on. Woohoo! <laughs> and I do have something planned for the front of these uh, doors. Just the top, not the bottom. Um, and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So. Right bottom lower <laughs> is what that's supposed to say. This one's ready for me to pop the hinge in. Into the bag. <laughs> so I just need to paper all this off because this is what I'm gonna do, um, what, what I'm gonna stain. But I realized I, because I don't wanna get overspray on the inside, because I'm gonna leave the inside wood, that I, I, I needed to um, hang plastic on it. Had I thought about that before, I wouldn't have had to take the top off. And another thing, your prepping process takes a lot of time, but it really is gonna help um, the end result of your paint job. So going through all this is gonna be worth it in the end. So don't forget your prep. <laughs> That's my public service announcement. So woo, <laughs> until tomorrow, toodles. All right, it's the next day and I came back out to finish my prep work. I got the bottom um, covered up. So I was wiping off the sides um, just to get rid of any dust that got on it um, yesterday. And I realized there's some rough spots and um, some holes. <laughs> I don't know what the holes are from. It's kind of like natural in the wood. So I'm gonna have to work on that, um, fill it with some wood filler, and then sand it before I can get to painting. I was so excited. I thought I was gonna come out here, finish um, the bottom, covering it up, and then getting ready to paint, but oh well. But remember the surprise that I was talking about yesterday? Well, it came in the mail, <laughs> actually yesterday evening. So I wanted to show you what it is. I hope I like it. <laughs> it's sticking to the it's sticking to the package. There we go. So what I'm going to do is stencil it on the front of the doors. Ooh. I had a hard time finding one that was actually big enough um, to fit the space. Oh, I think that's going to look lovely. Ah, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> All right. I was thinking I was going to get to start painting. But I'm going to have to um, do my wood cutting in instead. Remember, prep work. So what I was talking about, some of the little holes are like right here. I thought these were just black dots. But they're, oh, they're actually tiny little holes. And they're on the side. There's some, um, I think I see some other ones. Oh, there's some right here. So, I'm gonna have to fill those in first. So, wood putty, here I come. Woohoo! <laughs> I can really feel the little holes on them. Oh, my wood putty dried out.
I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> These, I see um, dots down here, but I don't think they're holes, but it's not very smooth, so I'm going to have to sand that too. <sighs> Prep work. places on this side. And then... Like in the same spot. One on the top. And one down at the bottom. So now I gotta let that dry. I gotta check the doors too. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta work on the doors too. Woo. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but oh well. some clamps that I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, I just thought of something. I hope it doesn't glue to the clamp. And I just have to wait for it to dry, so I can sand it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I sanded off the, the wood filler. <laughs> I have the other side to do. It's getting ready to go down. <laughs> I always get so nervous when it comes to um, putting my first pain on, and then I have to tell myself, just trust your plan, Dawn. Just trust your plan. <laughs> so here we go. I'm getting ready for the midnight heat. Mm. All right, here we go. because it's my first coat so I have to tell myself don't get frisky don't do it overdo it okay I'll keep going and then um, I'll show you when I'm done with my first coat Woo -hoo. all right there's one side on the other side. to keep telling myself trust your plan trust your plan and I was just nervous because I know it, you know it's such a dark color that I'm putting on here but I am wanting it to look like a pair of denim jeans you know cowboy up <laughs> so um I think I'm gonna like it I have chores to do and I gotta get to work shortly so I'll see you tomorrow toodles or maybe not tomorrow I don't know I'll see you soon though <laughs>